Welcome to the War of the Ring tutorial. The War of the Ring is a turn-based strategic game of territory conquest, resource management, and epic confrontations that take place over the lands of Middle-earth. The game is played on the Living World map. Territories that are under your control will be highlighted with your color, and territories claimed by your enemies will be highlighted with their respective colors. To zoom in and out of the map, push the mouse wheel forward and backward. To scroll through the map, push your cursor towards the edge of the screen to move in that direction. Try moving around the map now. The game is played as a series of turns that are taken simultaneously by all players. A single turn is divided into three phases, tactical, battle, and retreat. Each phase must be completed by all players before the game continues to the next phase. When all the phases have been completed, the turn is over and a new turn begins. In the tactical phase, you will make all your strategic choices regarding the expansion of your kingdom. Structure construction, unit training, and army movement are all decided in this phase. First, you will focus on a structure construction in the tactical phase of this turn. You can construct new buildings on any open build plot in a territory you control. There are four basic structure classes to choose from, fortress, barracks, armory, and farm. Each structure class provides a necessary function to a growing empire. To build a new structure, left-click on a build plot to bring up the menu that shows all the available buildings that can be constructed. Then left-click on the building you want to construct. Select the open build plot in Ker Andros and build a barracks. Good job! All structures cost a number of turns to build, and only one structure per territory can be under construction at a time. Once all players have completed the tactical phase, the strategic choices of each player are revealed on the Living World map, and the game continues to the next phase. Since you are not going to construct any more buildings at this time, press the End Phase button to finish the tactical phase. Battle Phase In the battle phase, all conflicts between opposing players are fought. A battle occurs when at least one of your armies and one of your enemy's armies end up in the same territory after the planned moves are executed from the tactical phase. Since there are not any conflicts at this time, the game will continue to the next phase. Retreat Phase In the retreat phase, all armies led by heroes that are defeated in battle must withdraw to safe territories. Since you do not have any defeated hero armies at this time, the game will continue to the next phase. Now that all phases have been finished, a single turn in War of the Ring is completed. A new turn begins, and you start again at the tactical phase. Turn 2. Tactical Phase. The barracks you started to build in the previous turn has been completed, and its abilities are now available for you to use. Next, you will concentrate on unit training in the tactical phase of this turn. Command points represent the number of troops you are allowed to train. You cannot build more troops than you have command points. Your world command point limit indicates the current population of your empire that inhabits the whole of Middle-earth. It is displayed at the top left corner of the screen. You can train new units at any one of your barracks. There are four basic unit classes to choose from. Soldier, Archer, Pikeman, and Cavalry. Each unit class has their own distinct traits and capabilities when fighting the other unit classes. To train a new battalion, left-click on a barracks to bring up the menu that shows all the available units that can be trained. Then, left-click on the unit you want to train. Select the barracks in Ker Andros and train a battalion of troops. Well done. All battalions cost a number of turns to train, and only one set of troops per barracks can be in training at a time. Since you are not going to train any more units at this time, press the End Phase button to finish the tactical phase. Again, no conflicts have occurred, so the game will pass through the battle and retreat phases. Turn 3. 
tactical phase. The battalion you started to train in the previous turn has been completed and is now available for you to command into battle. Finally, you will learn army movement in the tactical phase of this turn. All armies are allowed to move to only one adjacent territory from their current location per turn. However, the choice of an army's destination depends on the type of army that is being moved. There are two types of armies under your command, garrison armies and hero armies. A garrison army is composed of all the troop battalions that reside in a territory. To examine the composition of an army, left-click to select an army. Then, left-click on the Selection Details button on the Palantir at the lower left of the screen. This will reveal a panel that shows the individual battalions and units that make up the selected army. Select the Garrison Army in Carandros and examine its composition by displaying the Details panel. Observe that the battalion you just trained appears here. From this panel, detailed stats for each battalion in an army can be seen, and commands to the individual battalions themselves can be given. Garrison armies are used to defend the lands of your empire and can only move between territories that you control. Thus, they cannot take over neutral territories or invade enemy territories on their own. However, a garrison army can join with a hero army's attacking forces. To order a garrison army to join a hero army, left-click to select a garrison army. Then, right-click on the desired hero army to have the battalions of your selected army merge with the hero forces. Order the garrison army in Kerandros to join Aragorn's army in Rohan. Notice that your cursor changes to a join icon when you have a garrison army selected and move your mouse over a hero army that it can legally join. Excellent! A hero army is a group of battalions that are commanded by a special hero that has the ability to lead troops into battle. They can not only move between territories that you control, but are also used to expand the lands of your kingdom by conquering neutral territories and invading enemy territories. To order a hero army to move into a territory, left-click to select a hero army. Then right-click on the desired territory to send your selected hero army to that location. Select Aragorn's army in Rohan and move into the Dead Marshes. Notice that your cursor changes to a movement icon when you have an army selected and move your mouse over a territory that it can legally travel into. Very good. Since you are not going to move any more armies at this time, press the End Phase button to finish the tactical phase. Battle Phase. This time during the battle phase, there are encounters with the enemy that must be resolved. Active battles are indicated by an animated battle marker. To settle the encounter, left-click the battle marker. Select the battle marker in Osgiliath to resolve the conflict. This battle screen shows you detailed information about your forces and the enemy forces involved in the skirmish in the contested territory. You may have up to three methods for handling an encounter. Auto-resolve, real-time, or retreat. Selecting auto-resolve will calculate the winner of the battle automatically based on factors such as the size, unit composition, and experience of the forces involved. Selecting real-time will allow you to manually fight the battle in the disputed territory. Selecting retreat will allow you to withdraw your forces from the conflict before the battle starts. However, your retreating armies may lose some units in the process. When the battle has been resolved, ownership of the territory will be awarded to the winner. For the purposes of the tutorial, all battles will be auto-resolved. Press the auto-resolve button to fight the battle in Osgiliath. You lost this battle, but not the war. Don't give up. During the battle phase, there may be multiple conflicts. Each conflict is resolved one at a time. Select the battle marker in the Dead Marshes to resolve the conflict. You have defeated the enemy. 
Well done. Once all battles have been resolved, the battle phase is over. Press the end phase button to finish the battle phase. Retreat phase. Since one of your hero armies has been defeated in battle, you must withdraw that army to a friendly territory to recover. Only the hero army leaders survive from a lost battle and have the ability to retreat. To order a hero army to retreat, left click to select a defeated hero army, then right click on a friendly territory to send your army to that location. Select Boromir's army in Osgiliath and retreat to one of your territories. Good job! Once all retreat orders have been issued, the retreat phase is over. Press the end phase button to finish the retreat phase. The turn is over, but the battle for Middle-earth has just begun. This concludes the War of the Ring tutorial. Follow these simple guidelines, and you will soon dominate the whole of Middle-earth. Good luck!